Hello, my Qin friend. Um, so today we are going to talk about uh, Gu Qin vibration. Well, in other string instrument like violin, viola, cello, or guitar, uh, or arhu, um, there's just a vibration. Uh, in Chinese, it's called a rou xuan. Uh, in Gu Qin, there are many, many times of vibrations so you need to name each one. And today I'm going to introduce two uh, vibrations, two types of, of vibrations. One is called a yin, another is called a nao. Right? So yin is kind of more like the um, you know, typical vibration on string instrument. It is using your finger, your movement, your hand, your arm to um, refine the note by uh, moving up and down around the designate, designated pitch, the designated uh, location, uh, so it creates a, uh, a wave-like uh, refinement on the string. So I'm going to introduce three types of uh, yin vibration. One is called the xi yin, which is uh, mostly used, uh, xi yin, or um, the kind of subtle vibration. Xi means small, tiny, or thin. So it's tiny, small vibration, uh, or the kind of a, uh, the kind of more refined and uh, uh, subtle vibration. Um, <clears throat> so uh, let me demonstrate using uh, Guan Shan Yue, the opening sentence of Guan Shan Yue. Um, to introduce the Xi Yin, so doing the Xi Yin um, on the uh, tenth way of the sixth ring. So um, this is called the Xi Yin. So for Xi Yin, the, um, the tiny uh, vibration. Um, the designated position is 10th way, and your finger should move no more than um, a centimeter um, up and down the 10th way. Uh, so in another word, uh, you move um, <clears throat> kind of a, uh, you know, beyond uh, the 10th way, like a centimeter, and then go down uh, one centimeter, and your hand kind of uh, uh, move between that distance. So that's called a xi yin, right? So um, again. So um, the second type of yin is called a da yin, right? So da yin means big yin. Um, basically, the distance uh, is bigger and your hand and arm moves uh, more dramatically. So in general, for da yin, you move kind of um, an inch, um, at least an inch, um, kind of you know, higher and lower uh, than the designated uh, location. So for the same sentence, if we use da yin, um, it sounds really um, kind of exaggerated. So that's called a da yin, all right? Uh, you don't want to do that for this piece because this is the beginning of a piece. You want um, you want a calm, calmful um, uh, initi initiation of of the theme. You don't, you don't want to go uh, that dramatic. So we choose to use xi yin. So basically, xi yin and da yin is basically um, the, uh, the distance you move uh, around the designated uh, position. So in both case, your movement should be symmetrical. Uh, so you, sh you shouldn't go like on one direction too much and then on the other direction not enough. So it should be symmetrical. If you move higher than 10th way 
one centimeter, you also need to go lower than the tenth way one centimeter. If you that's a scene. So if you go an inch um, above the tenth way uh, for the vibration, you also need to go um, one inch down uh, the tenth way uh, so that you get that the symmetry. And our ears um, are going to perceive um, the middle position as the designated note. So um, if you do asymmetrically, um, people will feel that you are out of tone, right? So that's the um, the gist for uh, Xi Yin and, and Da Yin. So again, I'm going to demonstrate. Um, so this is Xi Yin. So this is Da Yin. Right. So which we do not choose to do. So a third type I wanted to introduce today is called the Ding Jin. Ding Zhi Yin means um, kind of finger motionless Yin, right? Which means your finger does not have a observable uh, moving distance. Right. So um, it just stay your finger, in this case, my ring fingertip, it's staying on the 10th way and uh, I make vibration right on the same spot. So there's no uh, distance traveled uh, by the finger. So this is Ding Zhi Yin. So this Ding Zhi Yin um, the finger does not move a distance, it rotates on the same spot. The generator for the motion is your arm and your wrist, right? So uh, your arm is like a log. It is rotating uh, with the axis as the kind of center of, you, of your arm. Uh, for those of you who swim, uh, <clears throat> when you do freestyle swimming, your body should be rotating uh, in the water, right? So your arm, um, it's very much like uh, that motion of your body when you are doing freestyle, right? So it's kind of a rotating there, and that rotation causes your finger to roll on the same spot Right on the same spot, instead of going a straight line up and down, it is on the same spot rotating there and cause that vibration. So the benefit of Ding Zhi Yin, uh, finger motionless Yin, is that it does not cause abrasion, it does not make noise, while both the um, uh, the Xi Yin and the Da Yin, uh, Da Yin is, uh, uh, especially, make make a noise when your finger is uh, moving along the string, you know, causing that kind of percussionist sound. Um, but when you do, when you do this, so there's no uh, noise caused by the vibration. So Ding Zhi Yin is very often used at the end of a sentence when it is very quiet or at the end of the uh, the whole piece. So in Guan Shan Yue, when we um, when we end the piece, the piece uh, end on the same note. So we use Ding Zhi Yin, and um, um, I uh, usually uh, use uh, Xi Yin, and then move uh, uh, transit to Ding Zhi Yin, and uh, bring the piece to a perfect uh, perfect perfect silence. So I'm going to demonstrate the, uh, the last uh, sentence of Guan Shan Yue. And uh, my last motion is Ding Zhi Yin. So this is Ding Zhi Yin. Um, I start with Xi Yin. 
but since this is end of the piece, your uh, movement have to stop anyway. So I gradually uh, change the scene. Uh, the moving distance became smaller and smaller, and then bring it to the middle point, the tenth way, and then the scene turns into a ding zhi yin. Okay, so again. <laughs> And you can also hear that when I was doing the scene, uh, there is a noise, and uh, the 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 musical sound get fainter and fainter, and then I change my uh, vibration into ding zhi yin, so there is no noise anymore um, because you don't want the you don't want to end your piece with with noise, right? You 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 want to end your piece with kind of perfect silence. So that's why we needed to choose Ding Zhi Yin for the ending uh, stopped sound. So again, I'm demonstrating um, here for Guan Shan Yue, uh, when I um, kind of change from Xi Yin to Ding Zhi Yin. Now let's talk about now. Now um, is rhythmic vibration. While for yin, you know, you do not count how many move, move, moving up and down you did. For now, you need to you need to count. Right. So you have a certain number of now, and uh, um, you also. Um, you also need to uh, give rhythm to now. So let me demonstrate um, the, you know, one of the uh, early sentences of Ping Sha Luo Yan. So there is a, um, it starts like this. Or harmonics. This is this is called a now. So now, um, here, the note is on the uh, seventh way of the seventh string, right? So it's also a long whole note. So in the four four beats, it is four beats, a whole measure, a whole bar. So how many uh, now I did, how many movement I did, I did four. So um, now is you go lower than the designated location and then move vertically back to that position. And uh, there is a silent stop uh, in uh, the technique of now. So it's very different from, from yin. First, yin is not rhythmic, now is rhythmic. Second, yin is symmetrical movement, and now is asymmetrical movement. You go only one direction, and then go back to the designated um, note, and uh, suddenly stop. So the gist of now is when you are moving down, your movement is slow, and coming back is fast. So the speed of coming back is very fast, and then you stop suddenly, 
So that sudden stop kind of hit the string and it created a percussionist sound and also give a dividing point to the long note, right? So for this whole note in Ping Shan Luo Yan, um, I added four um, now, and these four now divided the whole note into five sections. The first section is one beat, second section is one beat, the third section is a half beat, and then the fourth section is also a half beat, and then the fourth section is a whole beat. So now I'm going to use my voice to um, to say, to count the, the beat, right, the beat. And uh, on the third beat, there are two now. So I'm going to go one, two, three, three, four. Because so each time I, I make an, I make a voice. Um, I did something, right? So the in the beginning it is the um, the chuo, so it's just the initiation of the sound. One, two, three, three, four, right? Four beat this this long whole note, and it was divided into five sections. So again, one, two. Three, three, four. Right. So four now dividing the whole note into five sections. Um, another section in uh, in Ping Sha Luo Yan. Um, so So here I use a lot of now. I hope you can recognize it. I there's a lot of now, and um, <clears throat> so this one, for example. So this note on the fifth string and seven point sixth way, uh, qi hui liu fen. Um, the note is one and a half beat, and I added how many? How how many now did I add? Two. So um, I added two now and dividing the one and a half beat into three half beat. So watch this again. So now I'm going to count, but instead of counting the beat, um, because there are only one and a half beat, so I, I'm not going to count the beat. I'm just going to count the now I added. But you should notice that it is a one and a half beat long note on the qi hui liu fen. And I added two now, which I'm going to count, dividing the one and a half beats into three sections, and each section is a half beat. One, two, right? One, two. See this? One, two. Again, one, two. So here, last the last one. One, two. So this this note here, I also added two now to divide it into three half beat. 
and then going to a full shot, right? So um, that's now, and uh, there is also a fun now or reversed now. So the reversed now, while the now, when you do now, you go down and back to the designated position. For fun now, it is opposite movement. You go up, you go higher than the designated pitch, and then go down to the spot. So the same principle applies, which is when you leave the designated um, position, you move slow, but when you come back, you go fast. So you kind of hit the string and create a, a, a percussionist point uh, along the long note. So, um, so if I use a fan now for that, you know, long four beat whole note in the beginning of Ping Shan Luo Yan, it should sound like this. Right? So I go up and then down. But similarly, when I go up, which is leaving the spot, leaving the 10th way, I go slow. But when I go back, I go fast and cause a sudden stop. Right? Fun now. Right. So you hear that noise. Um, it's very different from Yin. And uh, again, demonstrate now. That's now. Fun now. So it's rhythmic, and there is a certain designed number of counts for now. And the movement is asymmetrical. It's only one on one side of the designated location, while the yin is the opposite. Uh, you do not count in, so um, it is symmetrical, and it is also uh, doesn't have a specific rhythm. It's just a kind of a background refinement. There is just a wave. There is just a wave for um, for in, while for for now there is a certain rhythm that divide the long. Uh, note into certain sections, so you you feel like now, while the yin is just uh, you know, that wave. You have da yin, you have xi yin, and you have ding zhi yin, and um, so that's the the key difference. And these are just uh, two types of the gu qin vibration. And each type, in and now, also have um, other variation, uh, which uh, I can introduce in future videos. Right, thank you. Um, please thumb up, please subscribe, and please uh, share. Thank you for your support.